Hello friends, welcome back to the kitchen. Um, today I'm going to be making a peanut butter pie. We got friends coming up, a couple of friends coming over tonight for uh, coffee and I thought I'd make a little pie for dessert. And I got this recipe from, I just found them today on uh, YouTube. It's called Pinky Ma's Kitchen. P-I-N-K-Y-M-A apostrophe S Kitchen and it's two elderly lady sisters and they um, do all kind of recipes and they're real fun to watch. I really enjoyed their channel and I think you'll um, enjoy if you like cooking videos and um, recipes and stuff. They're real sweet ladies. But <clears throat> I'm going to start off. Let me put you down so you can see the, the bowl. With 8 ounces of uh, softened cream cheese. Let it sit out and be at room temperature. You mix that up. It's real soft, it won't take long to get it um, smooth. But then you want to um, take 3 fourths cup of sugar and put it into that bowl. And mix that up. tablespoon of vanilla. Okay, I got my um, vanilla in there. I'm gonna mix that up a little bit. Then we're gonna put our peanut butter in there as well. A cup cup of um, smooth, pink, not the nuts in it, that's regular peanut butter. My husband loves peanut butter. Get it all out, I want to waste. Stuff I'm going to do is uh, my whipped cream, and I'm going to make it homemade. You can do, you can use just the regular whip, whipped cream in the um, container, or you can make your own. I'm going to make my own, and I already got my own um, my bowl that goes with my mixer in the freezer, so it'll be chilled in my um, uh, beater that I'm going to be beating it with. I'm going to use my stand mixer for that. I'm going to set that aside and I'll get my bowl out of the freezer to my own whipping cream. Cup and a half of heavy whipping cream. Cup and a half of heavy whipping cream. 
one that I'm trying to let it go. You know, I'll bring y'all back when it's finished. I'm fixing to take my um, whipping cream out of the mixer. I think it's ready now. See how um, thick and fluffy it is. It doesn't take it long. If you get your bowls uh, chilled down, to get without sugar. Then I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold this into my peanut butter mixture. Don't want to beat this in. It's amazing that that. into something so fluffy as a liquid that turns it into the cream like that. It's amazing to me. The simplest things amaze me though. <laughs> Every time I put a seed in the ground and see what comes out, it's just amazing to me. I tell one all the, all the time when I'm planting I'm, and I go out and see it popping through. It's, it's amazing to me that, that seed, a little seed like that can make such a big plant. It's just, it's gone. Fold that in. And while I'm folding this, I'll tell you that the top that I'm going to put on it, it's going to be um, chocolate chips. You can use any kind of chocolate you want. Um, it could be like dark chocolate or semi-sweet, whatever, and I'm going to use uh, these wafers that I already had on hand. I'm going to use them to, uh, to make mine, and I'll bring you back when, when I... What you do is you're going to take the, um, a cup of chocolate chips like this, or any kind of chocolate chips you want to use, and a half a cup of the heavy whipping cream. Put the heavy whipping cream in the microwave and let it get uh, warm so it'll melt the chips. You want to go ahead and put your um, filling in the pie shell and, and put it in the refrigerator and let it be chilling before you put the the final the top on it. Because that top's going to be warm. And you want your um, pie real cold so it'll keep it from running everywhere when you put the top on it. I hope y'all enjoyed the little cooking videos. I enjoy, I enjoy cooking period, but I really, I would rather be in the kitchen baking, making sweets. That's my favorite to do. I guess it's because I like eating. And it makes a, a full pie. You, I mean, if you had a smaller little, uh, you know, you can buy those little mini, mini pie shells. You could use that, put some of it in. Okay, I'm going to put this in the um, refrigerator. I might stick it in the freezer and let it chill a little bit while I'm making the ganache. And I'll bring you back when I'm when it's time to mix all that and put it on top of it. Got my um, heavy whipping cream hot. Get it hot enough to melt the um, chips. I'm starting it now. Chop that hot um, milk will melt this chocolate. That's not the police, that's my alarm, driveway alarm. Probably a chicken going back and forth in front of it. Okay. I'm gonna check and see if my pie's cool enough and I'm gonna 
show you when I put it on top of the pie. I got my pie out of the freezer and I hope it's cool enough for this chocolate. Not to go everywhere anyway. See what happens, cross your fingers. I guess the idea that the um, pie is real cool, it'll keep it from running all the way out of the pie and it doesn't look like I was successful. So probably should leave it in there probably at least an hour or so, I would say. But we're going to have plenty of chocolate. It'll still be good though. And you can put it back in the um, refrigerator and it will set up in the mold, I'm sure. But, this is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see it or not. I'm sure it'll be delicious either way. But, I, I might bring you back tonight when we cut it, if, if they'll allow me to um, record them eating it, and um, we'll let you know how it tastes. But I hope y'all have a good afternoon, and we'll see you on the next video.